Today we're going to assemble a Verona Captain's Ferrara storage bed. And to show us how it all goes together, please let me introduce Heather. To build the centre cupboard, we're going to start with the baseboard, so position it as shown. Now take a dowel and place it in one of the dowel holes in the side of the baseboard and tap it in with a hammer. You want to repeat this for all eight dowels, four on each side of the baseboard. Now take one of the top brace bars and you want to put a dowel in each end of the brace bar. These went in quite easily and didn't need a hammer. And you want to do the same for the remaining brace bar. Now take the left hand side panel. You can identify it by the four holes that are pre-drilled for the hinge plates. Now take one of the hinge plates and two small screws and screw the hinge plate to the side panel as shown here. Don't tighten the hinge plate fully yet, you want to leave it loose. And then you want to repeat the process with the other hinge plate. Now take the front top brace bar. You can identify it because it has three holes drilled in it. Now locate the brace bar dowel in the hole in the side panel and secure and tighten with a large screw. Make sure that the finished face of the brace bar is facing outwards. And you need to repeat this process with the plain rear upper brace bar. Now take the baseboard and make sure that the finished edge of the baseboard is positioned as shown. Now carefully locate the dowels in the baseboard into the holes in the side panel and using three medium sized screws, screw the baseboard into the side panel as shown here. Now take the remaining side panel and carefully line up the holes in the side panel with the dowels in the baseboard. You also have to align the dowels in the top brace bars with the holes in the side panel. Once all the dowels are in place, you can secure the side panel to the baseboard using three medium sized screws. Now take a large screw and screw the side panel to the upper brace bar. You want to repeat this process to secure the other brace bar as well. Now carefully turn over the cupboard and position the back panel as shown. Make sure the back panel is nice and square with the cupboard. Now secure the back panel to the back of the cupboard using the small nails provided. Whenever using nails in a hammer, it's always wise to wear a pair of goggles. Nail the back panel down in all the positions shown here. Now take the door and lay it out like this. Place one of the door hinges into one of the large holes in the door and secure to the door using two small screws. and repeat this process for the other hinge. Now carefully offer the door up to the hinge plates. Now slide both hinge arms into the top and bottom hinge plates. With the hinge arm correctly seated, tighten this screw to secure the hinge arm to the hinge plate. At this stage, you can now also tighten the hinge plate 
to the side panel. You need to repeat this process also for the bottom hinge. Your centre cupboard is now ready to fit to the bed. To assemble the drawers, take a drawer front panel and a drawer left and right side panel. Make sure that the grooves on all the panels are facing inwards and the two holes in the side panels are located as shown. Now take a dowel and coat one end of it in glue. Then place the dowel in one of the dowel holes in a side panel. You may need to tap it in with a hammer. And you want to repeat this for the other two dowel holes. Now coat all three dowels in glue. Then fit the side panel to the front panel as shown here. Now take two medium sized screws and secure the side panel to the front panel. Now want to repeat this process to attach the other side panel. Now take the draw base and carefully slide it between the grooves in the side panel. Make sure it locates nicely in the groove in the front panel. Now carefully turn the drawer onto its base. Take the drawer back panel and position it between the two ends of the side panels. It needs to be positioned as shown. Now take two medium sized screws and secure the side panel to the back panel. You need to do this for both side panels. Now turn the drawer upside down. Safety goggles are always a good idea whenever hammering in nails. Make sure the base is correctly positioned in all the grooves and take a small nail and hammer it through the base into the back panel. You need to hammer in nails in all the positions shown here. Your drawer is now complete all you need to do is repeat the process for the other three drawers. Let's build the bed frame. Lay out the headboard panels as shown. Make sure the narrow panels have their finished edge facing towards the top of the headboard and the indents for the drawer runners facing upwards. The bed posts are handed. It's important that they are positioned correctly. They should have the three holes facing upwards and when turned over as shown, should have eight holes. At the end of each panel, you'll notice there are screw holes and larger dowel holes. Now take a dowel and some glue and coat the end of the dowel with the glue. Place the dowel in one of the larger dowel holes in the end of the panel and tap home with a hammer. You need to do the same again for all the panels, placing a dowel in all the dowel holes. Now take a panel and coat its dowels with glue. Now line up the panel with the bedpost as shown and push the dowels into the dowel holes in the bedpost. And then repeat for the other panels. Now take a coarse threaded screw and screw it through the bedpost into the panel and tighten off with an Allen key and repeat this three times to secure all the panels to the bedpost and then repeat the complete procedure to attach the other bedpost. Now we need to fit the drawer runners. These must be fitted to the side of the bed on which you want your drawers. Line the runner up with the indents in the panel and secure with three medium sized screws. And then repeat to fit the bottom drawer runner to the lower panel. Now take the footboard and position it so the three holes on either side are facing upwards. You'll also notice that on this side there are pencil guide marks to show you where to place the draw runners. Now take a draw runner and align it with the pencil guide marks and secure with three medium screws. And repeat for the lower draw runner. Now take one of the bed side panels and in the end of the side panel place a dowel in the centre hole and tap it home with a hammer and repeat this for the other side and then you need to do the same again with the other side panel. 
Now take the footboard and a side rail and position as shown. Now pass two fine threaded bolts through the holes in the footboard. Use these bolts to guide the dowel in the side rail into the hole in the footboard. Now draw back one of the bolts and place a cup nut in the hole as shown. Now screw the bolt into the cup nut and tighten off with the allen key. And then repeat with another cup nut in the lower hole. Now fit the other side rail in the same way. You secure the headboard to the side rails in the same way you secured the footboard. Make sure all the bolts are nice and tight. It's important that whilst the bed is in use, you periodically check the tightness of all the bolts. Now take the headboard finishing panel and a dowel and place the dowel in the dowel hole as shown here. And you need to do the same with the dowel hole on the other side of the panel. And repeat once again for the remaining finishing panel. Now the panels must be fitted to the headboard and footboard the correct way round. If you get it wrong, it will look like this. If you get it right, it should look like this. Now secure the panel to the headboard using three medium sized screws. And you secure the remaining panel to the footboard in the same way. Let's fit the cupboard and the drawers. We'll start by using a tape measure to locate the centre of the side panel. On the inside of the side panel, use a pencil to mark the centre line. Now take the cupboard and lift it inside the bed frame with the door facing outward. Now line up the centre drill hole in the cupboard with the centre mark on the side panel and using three medium sized screws secure the cupboard to the side panel. Now distribute the bed slats, ribbon side down, onto the side panel rails. Now secure the centre bed slat and the end bed slats to the side rails using six narrow screws. Your bed should now look like this. Now all that's needed is for you to fit your drawers. And now your captain's Ferrara storage bed is ready for its mattress and a good night's sleep. Thank you for watching.